Hello friends. Today in this lecture we will discuss about organ diagrams. So in our previous lectures we have already discussed about splitting pattern of D and F spectroscopic terms. So now it becomes very easy to draw the organ diagrams. So now the question is that what are organ diagrams? So the organ diagrams are used to interpret the spin allowed absorption bands of electronic spectra of DD origin in tetrahedral and octahedral transition metal complexes. These diagrams are used for weak field complexes. So these diagrams are for weak field complexes. This is the one thing. Then the other thing is that in these diagrams we use the similar multiplicity terms. Terms. And it means that an energy level diagram showing a splitting uh, of the terms with the same multiplicity as a function of the strength of weak field originated from DD transition is known as organ diagram. And third uh, point is that these diagrams can be drawn in between E and delta O energy versus field strength. So these diagrams they can easily describe about the DD transition in the transition metal complexes. So we can discuss uh, one by one uh, for the different configuration. Uh, so for we first we will take the example of the uh, D configurations which are having D ground state term. So again there are only four D configurations that are D1, D6, D4 and D9. These configurations they have D ground state term. So for these terms we can easily uh, draw orgal diagrams because we have already known the splitting of these term, terms. So first we will take the example of D1 configuration in octahedral and a tetrahedral environment. So for D1 configuration if it is octahedral and if D1 configuration if it is tetrahedral uh, then we can easily draw the orgal diagram. So for D1 configuration this coordinate uh, this will represent E and this will represent delta O and the ground state term for D1 octahedral configuration is 2D and after the octahedral field it splits into two terms that is 2T, 2Z and 2EG. The configuration of this term is T to G1. We have already discussed in the splitting of D pattern only we have to include this E and delta O for plotting the orgal diagrams and configuration of this term will be EG1. So only one, this, these diagrams they describe about the transition between uh, DD uh, or different configuration. So there, there is the possibility of only one transition that is from 2T to G to 2EG. So only one peak will be observed in the spectra of D1 configuration of octahedral complex. If we draw the D1 tetrahedral complex, orgal diagram for D tetrahedral complex, then we will draw the plot between E and delta T. Now the 2D ground state term will split after tetrahedral field. It will split into 2E2 and 2T2. Here the energy lower energy level uh, term is 2E2 and here the lower energy term is T2G. So these are opposite to each other D1 tetrahedra and D1 octahedra and the configuration is E1 and its configuration will become T2 
1. Again, there is the possibility of only one transition. So, it will also show one peak and it will also show one peak. So, oracle diagrams, they are helpful in determining the, uh, the uh, spectra, the number of peaks of transition metal complexes. As we know that D1 configuration is similar to the DX, D6 octahedral configuration and D1 is equal to the, it is similar to the D6 tetrahedral complex. So, orgal diagram will be similar for D1 and D6 octahedra, D1 tetrahedra and D6 uh, tetrahedra. Only the difference is that the multiplicity will be changed. For D1 configuration, the multiplicity of the term will be 2. So, it becomes 2D. For D6, the, configuration, the uh, ground state term will become 5D. So, in this case also, in tetrahedral D1 complex, it is 2D. For D6, it will be 5D and the, uh, the multiplicity of these two terms will be different. For D6 octahedra and D6 tetrahedra, rest of the organ diagrams will be similar as we have already seen in the splitting pattern of D term. For D4 configuration and D9 configuration, the organ diagram will be similar. So, for D4 configuration in octahedral field, if we see the orgal diagram, the ground state term will be 5D for D4 configuration and the ground state term will be E, EG will be EG for D4 configuration and T2G will be the excited state. The configuration in this state will be T2G. 2, T2G3, EG1. And for this, it will become T2G2 and EG2. So, this is the orgal diagram in octahedral field for D4 configuration. And if we'll see the, uh, the orgal diagram of D4 configuration in tetrahedral field, so it will be reverse of that of octahedral field. So, if this is 5D, then the ground state term uh, for D4 configuration will become, uh, the, the ground state term for D4 configuration in tetrahedral field. So, it will become the T2G will become the ground state term and EG will become the excited state term. Both are reverse of each other and the configuration will become E, E2, T2, 2 and this will be E1, T2, 3. So, this will be the orgal diagram. Again, there will be only one transition, possibility of one transition. So, it will also show the one peak in the adsorption spectra. If we will draw the uh, orgal diagram for D9 configuration, it will be similar to that of D4 but the uh, multiplicity will be 2. Here the multiplicity of the ground state was 5 and here it will be 2 and the splitting will be similar. That for in case of D9 configuration, again we will plot uh, a graph between E and delta O and here the E will be the ground state term, EG will be the ground state term and T2G will be the excited state term in octahedral complex and in tetrahedral complex T2G will be the ground state term and EG will be the excited state term. And if we we'll, uh, see the tetrahedral, uh, the splitting of or the orgal diagram of D9 in tetrahedral field, then we will see the reverse trend. Then T2, the energy of T2 will be lower and energy of EG will be the higher because it is just opposite this of that of uh, tetrahedral field. So, because octahedral and tetrahedral, they are inverse, uh, they are having inverse splitting, but the uh, one difference is that we always, we have to always write G with the octahedral complex and we have not to write G with the tetrahedral complex because tetrahedral complex is not having any center of symmetry. So, these are the terms, these are the four terms 
these are the four configurations d1 d5 uh, d1 d6 d4 and d9 which are having d ground state now now we will uh, draw the uh, organ diagrams for the four configurations which are having f ground state term and these four configurations are d2 d7 d3 and d8 these are uh, all are having the same type of similar type of uh, organ diagram and d2 and d7 they have similar uh, organ diagrams d3 and d8 will have similar organ diagram we have already discussed in the previous lecture so we will uh, if we know the splitting pattern of f term and d term then we can easily draw the organ diagrams only we have to put e and delta o in the splitting of these terms and we will get the uh, organ diagram so for d2 configuration uh, or d d2 and d7 they are they have the similar pattern so uh, i am drawing uh, the organ diagram for d2 configuration so for d2 configuration in octahedral field the organ diagram will be like that this is e this coordinate is delta o there are three, two terms one is 3f and other is 3p we have to mention uh, p term where there is a ground state term is f so the ground state when we apply the octahedral field then this f will split into molecule terms three molecule terms so the lowest molecule term is d1g then the second term is 3 2g and the third term is 3 a2g and one term is from 3p that is 3 t1g so this is from p now the configuration of these terms are for this term the configuration is d2g1 for this term the configuration is sorry this is d2g2 this is d2g1 eg1 and uh, one another term it has also having the similar ground uh, the similar configuration t2g1 eg1 and this will have the configuration eg2 so we can write the configuration along with the different terms now we can see that this is the ground state term and these three are the excited terms so there will be possibility of three transitions from here to here from here to here and from here to here so uh, in the absorption spectra of this Uh, d2 uh, we will get three uh, peaks for these three transitions so likewise in d7 d8 and d3 we we will get the three transitions due to this f term d2 octahedra and d7 octahedra will have the similar pattern we have the similar organ diagram only difference is that this is this will be 4f so in case of d7 configuration this will become 4f this will become 4t1g 4t2g 4t1g and 4a2g and the uh, there will be possibility of three transitions we can uh, draw the conclusion from the organ diagram of d2 and d7 and if we see the organ diagram of uh, d8 configuration so in case of d8 configuration or d3 configuration they will be similar so in case of d3 configuration the organ diagram will be like this so the ground state term will be 4f and we have to put one other another term that is 4p this is e and this is delta o so this is octahedral field so this is a organ diagram for octahedral field so now in case of d3 configuration in octahedral field the ground state term will be a2g the other uh, excited the first excited state will be t2g the third excited state will be 4t1g and its excited state will be 4t1g so this is from p and this is from f so configuration for this state will be t2g3 for this t2g2 eg1 for this it is t2g1 t2g uh, 
t two g one e g two, and for this it becomes t two g two e g one, because these two states they are generated from the uh, configuration t two g two e g one. Both are asymmetrically filled. We have already discussed it. So in case of d three octahedra. we can see that here it a to g is the ground state term but in case of d2 configuration 3t uh, t1g was the ground state term so these are opposite to each other d3 octahedra and d2 octahedra or d7 octahedra then d3 octahedra will be inverse to that of d3 tetrahedra we have already discussed this. so if we know the splitting pattern of different configuration or different terms we can easily draw the orgel diagram by putting e in the y axis and delta o in the uh, x axis in case of octahedral field again we uh, i will um, repeat it that in case of octahedral field we have to write this g because it has center of symmetry but in case of when we draw orgel diagram for tetrahedral field we have not to use any g because it it lacks center of symmetry and uh, one configuration that is d5 configuration it is entirely different its its orgel diagram is entirely different because it has only one ground state term that is 6s which cannot split further so in the orgel diagram of this d5 configuration we have to take the terms of other multiplicity also uh, one thing is that we have to um, explain about the trend of these two states and in d2 configuration the trend uh, we have seen that the two states they cross each other so we will also discuss about this trend so in case of uh, d5 configuration the ground state term is 6s so because the ground state term is 6s so it it, it has no molecular term because it has only one molecular term that is 6a1g so this will have only one molecular term that is 6a1g so uh, but uh, the color the complexes of d5 configuration uh, weak field complexes they are also colored although they have very uh, faint color like uh, the complexes of mn2 plus they are uh, uh, they are very faint colored uh, complexes light pink color complexes but it has color so to describe the color of the complex the we have to discuss about its uh, transitions so if there are the transitions the transitions may be due to the transfer of electrons from the different multiplicity term in between the different multiplicity terms so 6 as the ground state term of d5 configuration the other other terms may be written uh, the terms that have multiplicity 4 they have also be put in the diagram so in the orgel diagram of d5 configuration the uh, different multiplicity terms have been taken to describe about the transition why the uh, why the d5 configuration complexes they show the color they show color because the electron will transit from the diff in between the different multiplicity terms so uh, these 4g it is splits into four terms a1g eg t2g and t1g we have already uh, taken the molecular terms in the previous lecture and the 4g term will be split in only in one term that is t1g term 4d d will be split into e and t2 term and f term will be split into a2 t1 and t2 so it becomes uh, uh, some uh, uh, complex type of orgel diagram and uh, in this there is possibility of 
So how many transitions we can uh, we can see from the diagram? There are uh, how many transitions? Uh, how many excited states? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So because there are ten excited states in one ground state that is A1G, so there may be possibility of ten transitions. So in case of D5 configuration, there is possibility of 10 transition. We can show uh, from this diagram. So these are the 10 uh, possible transition. And uh, so, so it's, it's spectra is uh, some thing. Uh, it is complex type of spectra, but there are some prominent peaks in the spectra, and that peaks uh, may be due to these transitions which are having the excited states are having the horizontal line like transition from the a1g to this this is the horizontal line so transition from here to here this may be the cause of sh sharp peak in the uh, spectra of d5 configuration other is this this is the horizontal line then the other transition may be this so there are generally four peaks which are prominent peaks in the absorption spectra of D5 configuration. So we can describe with the help of the orgal diagram that how uh, the absorption spectra of D5 configuration looks like. Uh, that it has four prominent peaks in the absorption spectra. Uh, so now we will discuss about the non-crossing rule. So, in the orgal diagram of D2, D7, D3, and D8, we saw the some trend in the orgal diagrams. So, if we draw the orgal diagram for D2 configuration, so in case of D2 configuration, we can again draw the orgal diagram. So, in case of this, the ground state term is 3T1G, 3T2G, excited state, then 3A2G. Then we have seen that the T1G term of P, it crosses the A2G term. So there is a crossing point in D2 and D7 configuration in between T1G and A2G. While in case of D3 configuration, if we see the D3 configuration, orgal diagram of D3 configuration, then we will see that in this case, the ground state term was A to G. And the first excited term was T to G. And the third term of F was 4 T1 G. And then P T1G term was like this. So we can see that here, here in D3 configuration, there is no crossing of these last terms. But in case of this term, uh, this D2 configuration, we seen that we have seen that there is a crossing of these two terms. So uh, from the correlation diagrams, we can conclude that the, uh, there is a non-crossing rule. The non-crossing rule states that the energy levels with the same symmetry terms and spin degeneracy never cross each other. The terms of same symmetry they mix and the lower energy term with the same symmetry more stabilized and higher energy term of the same symmetry will more destabilize. So this is non-crossing rule. So we can see in D3 configuration that there are two terms, both are T1G, one from P and other is from F. So both are having the similar symmetries. If these are having similar symmetry, then these have the similar symmetry, so they can mix. So these term mix, and after mixing, the energy of lower the the term of lower energy it will de it will stabilize so its energy will decrease and the term of higher energy it will destabilize and its energy will further increase 
so these two terms they, they never cross each other so this is non crossing rule but in case of d2 configuration there are two terms they are they are near to each other one is 3a2g and other is 3t1g both are entirely different so in this case the mixing of two terms will not take place so there is no mixing so these two terms they can cross each other so in case of any two sim two two similar symmetry terms if they are they are near to each other then they they will never cross each other because in this case they have similar symmetry so they can mix they can mix after mixing the uh, the term of lower energy its its, its energy will lower further and the uh, the term with higher energy its energy will increase further so this is non crossing rule so in uh, in conclusion we can say that uh, the it is it becomes easy to draw oracle diagrams for uh, the configurations with d term and f term if we if we will know about the splitting pattern of d and f term in octahedral and tetrahedral field and the uh, the spectra of or the oracle diagram of d5 configuration it become complex because the its ground state term has no molecular term that is 6s so uh, its uh, oracle diagram is little complicated because uh, we have to include uh, the different multiplicity terms in oracle diagram and uh, from correlation uh, diagrams we can conclude that uh, there is a non crossing rule a non crossing rule is for uh, similar symmetry terms if they are near to each other then they mix and after mixing the lower energy term will uh, stabilize further and the higher energy term will destabilize further so they can never cross each other so this is non crossing rule thank you